Just south of Santa Monica, along the Pacific coast, is the famous Venice Beach. Originally a beach resort built to recall its Italian namesake with canals, piazzas, and colonnaded city center. Venice is known today for its bohemian lifestyle, with free-spirited beach town boardwalk with funky shops and street performers. Along with quiet residential areas and modernist design homes, Venice also has an upscale retail and commercial district with foodie hotspots, stylish boutiques, and coffee bars. A unique experience in Los Angeles, Venice's culture attracts hipsters, artists, and tourists. It is one of the most popular destinations and usually on the list of things to do when visiting LA. The iconic Venice sign above Windward Avenue and its colonnaded walkways mark the entrance to Venice Beach Boardwalk. This is a good place to start to see a number of attractions within a few blocks. The Venice Boardwalk is known as an edgy, artsy, and quirky area with an iconic beachfront boardwalk and pier. Here, you can find a bohemian subculture with street musicians and performers of all kinds and locals selling their wares. The Venice Boardwalk is a great place to people watch against the backdrop of a wide sandy beach, palm trees, and brilliant blue skies. The Boardwalk features an outdoor weight area, skateboard park, and free skating area. The Venice Beach Recreational Center has basketball courts, tennis courts, and handball courts. The Venice Beach Skate Park is a place to watch skateboarders show off their talent as skilled boarders do their thing under the California sun. Venice is a well-known area that was integral to the development of skateboarding as a sport. Nestled in the heart of the boardwalk is the famed Muscle Beach Gym, where bodybuilders for decades have worked out under the sun. Some of the biggest names in the sport, including Frank Colombo, Lou Ferrigno, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, have made this gym their home. Weightlifting enthusiasts can pump iron under the blue skies in this facility that sports well-maintained equipment. It is one of the main attractions along the boardwalk where power and Olympic lifters pump iron in this historic location. Among the many shops, there are vendors who rent everything from surfboards, segways, bikes, skates, strollers, to wheelchairs at rental locations along the boardwalk. The Venice Beach bike path runs parallel to the boardwalk this is where bikers, skaters, and scooters can ride along the coast from Pacific Palisades in the north to Torrance Beach in the south as part of the coastal bike trail. Venice is famous for a number of reasons, including its many murals. Some of the best street art in Los Angeles can be found here. Splashed across buildings along a number of streets is a collection of wonderful murals. The famed Orson Welles' classic, Touch of Evil, has a huge mural depicting its Venice Beach location and the movie's famous opening tracking shot. Part of the heart and soul of the community, these murals are creative and colorful with themes and frequencies not found in any other part of the city. Abbott Kinney was a developer, conservationist, and water expert. He is best known for using the California marshlands to build his Venison of America resort in 1905. Kinney wanted to recreate the look and feel of Venice, Italy along the California coast. His man-made canals and waterway system was complete with gondolas brought in from Venice, Italy. Kinney built an amusement center in Venice similar to Coney Island in New York with amusement rides, aquarium and exhibits, a casino, dance pavilion, and much more. The traffic circle at Pacific and Windward is a location of what was once the center Venice Lagoon. Charming cottages were built along the canals. 
but by the 1920s, the canals were considered an obstacle to the growing popularity of automobiles in Los Angeles. So, in 1927, a number of the original canals were filled in to make room for paved streets. Over the years, the surviving canals fell into disrepair. It wasn't until 1992 that the remaining canals were renovated. Many of the original cottages and bungalows have been extensively renovated or replaced with modern homes. Today, this picturesque enclave of canals is part of the Venice Canal Historic District. A few blocks from the boardwalk and the canals, between Venice Boulevard and Pacific Avenue, is Abbott Kenny Boulevard, named in honor of the famed Venice founder. A mile of popular shops, restaurants, and cafes, it is the center of the Venice Beach community. This bohemian neighborhood attracts tourists from all over the world with its quirky style, chic boutiques, and top chef restaurants. Definitely worth a stroll when you're near Venice Beach. The street is lined with old style California bungalows and flagship stores with salons and boutiques that celebrate the Venice community. Known as one of the coolest blocks in America, with one-of-a-kind shops as well as international brands, it is a memorable shopping experience filled with eclectic boutiques and is a popular destination for chic shoppers. There are plenty of restaurants, cafes and food trucks in Venice, so you never have to go hungry. Abbott Kenny Boulevard is also a foodie mecca. There's a surprising variety of choices from Japanese, Mexican, seafood, and more than a few Italian restaurants. Venice offers more than a day's worth of people watching, shopping, and dining. With wide views of the surf and sand, it is an area that's mostly walkable or maybe bikeable with a number of areas worth exploring. Venice Beach may not be for everyone, with its tacky souvenir shops and the whiff of weed in the air, but the area's ambience is relaxed. If you're looking for a more upscale experience, there are areas with high-end shops, stores, boutiques, and restaurants to meet your needs. All in all, Venice is a unique California experience and wonderful destination temptation.